Guys. Hi guys, I'm back with Ty again and we're at the uh, Plum Pal uh, counter again and we're looking at the next product which I've got to be honest, I mean this is this is one of my favourite products I've seen at the show and it really is a good bit of kit. Uh, I'm not going to talk anymore, I'm just going to let Ty do the demo on this and you are going to be super super impressed and we've got something at the end of the video which is going to impress you even more so we're giving away some of these bits of kit because he's uh, donated some for some prizes so cheers my man. Alright let's go for it and Ty show, okay, us, what, so show us some magic. Pipe Lager Pro is compatible for 15, 22, 28, 13, 19, 25 wall, so that means nine variations. You simply undo the two outer nuts, it opens up, and you just load it like that, and you let the natural weight of the cheek just drop down onto the lagging, and it perfectly hugs the contours of the lagging. You simply do up the two outer half nuts onto those posts until it touches, and you simply just do the little locking nuts the other side. That now gives you the perfect grabbing yeah. Um, tension on the on the pipe lagger pro. It's a snug fit for it. It's a yeah. really snug fit. There's ribs on the inside, so what that does is that just prevents it from twisting. Okay, yeah. So it's locking it in, yeah. It's locking it in. So in order to do a T-piece, you simply just utilize the shape of the saw. You use it in an arcing fashion to maximize the seamless joint. So you go down, See, flip like, it over. That's like you get a square edge on the back, so up against clips, up against walls, you can execute a really nice square cut. And again, all you do is you use the arc of the saw straight down. Guaranteed every time. So I'll show you a close-up of the, of the T-piece. I'm going to flip it over now so there's no cheating. So in terms of doing a 90, that's really simple. Instead of actually doing the, the little cut out in the center, all you do on this occasion is you go down through the slot in the middle. Okay, yeah. So there's your soldered 90. I'll flip yeah. it over. Nice. And I'm just going to I'm just going to um, just show on the pipe work quickly how it looks, just very quickly. So if I come down here and I just show you this, this is look at that. Look how smart that is. So no more messing, no dramas. You've got all this from this great bit of kit. Okay, and then we've got all these here. So, yeah, it is a fantastic, great bit of kit. Soldered 45, again, very simple, straight down. Yeah, that's nice, that. That's super impressive, though, isn't it? Now you can utilize that 40, uh, sorry, 22 and a half degree to your advantage. Now what you just previously seen on the before and after board, when you've got a pulled bend with the clip near the radius, it's physically impossible because a lag and a whip off. So the way you do a segment bend is really quite simple. So you're able to do a pulled bend. Now, because of different radiuses on the market of pipe benders, without mentioning any manufacturers, what I would suggest is, is you knock up a template on 15 and 22 as a template, you knock up a 22 and a half degree, a 22 and a half degree, slip it over both legs. The minute it starts going away from the straight run of pipe, you leave it there yeah. and take a reference point, i.e. center to center, which will be variations of different pipe benders. And then you just make a mental imprint next time that you, your 15 yeah. is dimension X, your 22 yeah. is dimension X. I'm with you. I'm with you. So it's not really difficult. A couple of quick questions then. Yeah, sure. Uh, this, the blaze. So, yeah. Can you sharpen it? So you get a free sharpener with it. You've got two ceramic rods. I'm going to give you a really important demonstration because without the saw being sharp, you just will not get seamless yeah. cuts. It's very yeah. similar to a Stanley blade. So you've got two ceramic rods. You hold the sharpener firmly down on the deck. You hold the saw within the apex of the ceramic rods. You give it a little skew to the side, it doesn't matter which side first. Two three inch strokes pressing down firmly, all the way to the end and all the way back again. Flip it over, and that's good to go now for a seamless cut. I'll show you just what a difference it makes. Oh, yeah. Done. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Um, right, um, I think it's a great bit of kit. Uh, it really is impressive. I mean, we've got all these cuts here and, uh, on the lagging. Now, Ty has actually given us some giveaways. So we've got all this to give away. So we've got the pipe lugger um, complete kit there. And we've got the siphon sucker, which we're gonna be giving away in a competition. So I'll be setting the competition very shortly. 
Uh, how much is this then? How much is this bit of kit total? So, so the profiler is £16 today yeah. without VAT, but obviously subject after the show. Okay. And the profiler is £15 okay. plus VAT after the show. So, so what, 30, 31, 31? 31 all in. Okay. The yeah. siphon sucker, I think we've mentioned, that's uh, £15. Okay, excellent. And these are available again on the same website, yeah? So pipelagapro.co.uk and .com available, yes, or Plump Out products. Now, what I would say is the saw is a saw for life because you get your sharpener, so unlike a normal saw, you can just keep on sharpening that and you'll never need to replace it, so it's worth every penny. Fantastic. Ty, I appreciate this. No, time. absolute Fan pleasure, Ant. Fantastic Thanks for your time. bit of kit. Uh, start entering the competitions now and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, great guys. Great stuff, great. Ta